as Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips in today's tutorial guys I'll be showing you how to on any um, Samsung Galaxy device including the Samsung Galaxy S10 or of course the S20 or even future devices or past devices and of course I'll be showing you how to perform a Wi-Fi tether in other words in other words I'll be showing you how to perform a internet tether so um, for example here my carrier I'm connected to the data network as you can see here the connection which is um, LTE plus and what I'm gonna do now guys is I'm gonna go ahead and share the internet connection all right guys so as I was saying I'll be showing you how to share your wife share your mobile data so let's say for example um, in the house or wherever you are or even if you're out on a boat and let's say somebody needs a little internet and you have your um, data which is your mobile data you can actually allow them to access the internet through your device so you'll be using your device as a Wi-Fi hotspot so in other words I'll be showing you to create your own personal Wi-Fi hotspot or how to tether your internet so you can actually share it with friends or so on it can also be great in cases let's say for example the internet is out and you do not have wi-fi at home you can actually share this with your laptop or so on by sharing your internet connection so you can continue to do your work which is very important um, in these times all right so let's get straight to the point now in order to do this on your android device go ahead and go to settings once you're in settings guys see this has to do with the internet go ahead and go to connections all right, so once you're in connections, you'll see a bunch of settings. Notice down here it says mobile hotspot. So you'll be creating a mobile hotspot or you'll be tethering your device. Now, if I go to mobile hotspot and tethering, it does give you three options. The first one is to create a mobile hotspot, which will be creating the hotspot using the Wi-Fi card in your device to wirelessly share the internet. You can also use it through Bluetooth, meaning the device will share the internet over Bluetooth not necessary I'll only use this one in case this one is not available or if some reason you cannot use the first option and of course the last one is called USB tethering with USB tethering you would need a USB cable to be run between the um, phone and your um, laptop and of course you might need specialized software for that so that's a little bit more difficult and you notice it's grayed out it will only become um, available when certain conditions are met now, of course, on a mobile hotspot, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And you'll notice here, it will start to do its thing. And notice it says on. In case you do not know what the hotspot is itself, go ahead and tap on mobile hotspot. And here, you'll notice the information. Notice it says turn on Wi-Fi on the other device. Select Android AP8527, which is the name of my connection. I can also change the name. And of course, it says connect Android A2 by entering this um, random password. Now it says um, here, connect with QR if you want. You can open the QR code for the um, connection. And of course, you can do that. It does show you here, shows you the password. If I want to, I can tap and I can change the password. I'm not going to change it. And of course, if I wanted to again, I can, um, sorry. If I wanted to, again, I can go down here, it says auto hotspot and share your phone's internet connection automatically with other devices signed into your Samsung account. So if you have another um, device, you can actually automatically allow it to connect once it's on the same Samsung account. It shows connected devices here so you can keep track of what's going on. Now I'm going to demonstrate with my iPhone. So let me just go ahead and unlock. All right, guys, so the iPhone is right here. So let me make some space. And of course, let's go to the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go into settings. I'm already connected to a Wi-Fi network. But if I go into Wi-Fi right here and I wait around, notice it does appear right there. It shows the Wi-Fi network, which is the same name. So I'm going to tap on this right here. If I wanted to, all I got to do is just go ahead and enter the um, the Wi-Fi um, password, which is H Y E R. zero three five six and as you saw now guys or as you have seen um basically i've entered the password and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to hit join all right so notice now it says connecting over there and it should do its thing and i'm going to wait here for the connection and check it out on here guys it says ricardo's iphone and of course it says it's connected so that means i can now browse as long as i have on this device um the internet or active data plan as you can see i'm connected to the internet with the active data plan 
all right if you want to as well you could go the route of a qr code by tapping the qr and this would be the password as well so on this device all i had to do or do on another device would be to scan the qr code so check this out guys if i want to scan the qr code i'm going to open control center i'm going to make sure i have the um, qr code scanner which is this scanner right here and all i'd have to do is just point it at at the um the code sorry all i have to do is just point it at the code there you go notice it asks you to join the wi-fi network let me just see if i can handle this a bit it says join right there there's a little bit of glare but you should be able to see it it does say join all right so i'm going to cancel since i've already joined so you do get the idea now guys so that's how you're actually going to go about creating your own um hotspot or of course your own tether allowing um, your device to connect to other devices so you can create your own personal hotspot and share your internet connection this works on almost any android device all right guys as usual, just regard a garden from block tech tips saying bye until next time Bye, guys.